What's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? I was about to go to sleep, but you know what? I was thinking about something like you. I'm always thinking, and uh, plus I heard my wife snoring, so I said, you know what? This would be a good time to do a video if I can get my phone and my tripod first. There we go. All right, guys. So first of all. I'm rocking one of these new, fresh Cleaner Connect T-shirts, which we're going to be uh, selling to uh, Cleaner Connect members. Anyone who just want to uh, rep Cleaners Connect, uh, best cleaning group right now on Facebook, and we're going to keep it that way. Uh, not knocking any other group, but hey, you know, if if you own something if you're a part of something you always want to make sure it's the best in your way so we got these new shirts guys got a whole box of them that we're going to uh be giving away to all the members that come to mikey's fest this weekend in greenville south carolina so we got about 40 43 44 shirts made um and also shout out to the other two admins who uh, also uh, make this happen with these shirts. So not only myself, but also my buddy Chandler Thompson and also Chad Mays. So all three chipped, uh, chipped in and got these shirts to uh, give to the uh, members that we will see this weekend at Mikey's Fest. So yeah, the guy, these are some nice shirts. I love the way they came out. I love the way the logo looks. I like the way the color uh, just blends in together. It has a nice feel, man. I love this logo. Uh, by the way, this logo was done by a good friend and also another. She's also on Cleaners Connect too, uh, Kim Massingale. She's also the one that does. She did my website. She's done a lot of work for a lot of you guys. Uh, but she also made the, the 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 logo. So I'm very, we're very, we're very happy with this logo. It's just very creative very beautiful and um as the years go by guys we're gonna see this logo a lot you know um this is just the start um on the t-shirt like most things but anyway listen as you guys can see the title of the video how to get the tools that you want and you know sometimes we think that in order to get things in our business we need money and yes guys we do need money you do need money but how do you really get it how do you really get the tools that you want and i was thinking and i'm going to have some people that are going to back me up for this and this goes back to the law of attraction so when you want these tools the truck mounts the vans uh even the customers that you want to work for how does it all start? How, where does it come from? Guys, what are you thinking? See, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. It's not a secret, but to some it's a secret because they don't know how to use it. You get the tools that, that you want. Even when you have no money. I'm going to tell you guys. Again, it starts with your thinking. If you have a local supplier... If there's no local supplier around you, if you have a magazine, if you don't even need a magazine. You can get on Google and whatever truck mount you want, whatever van you want, whatever tool you want in your business, guys, if you really want it, look at it all the time. All the time, look at it and say, that's my van. That's my truck mount. That's my, whatever tool you want, say it every time you see it. That's mine. And guys, I'm telling you, magic is going to happen. When I sit here and think, and you might see a smile on my face, because it just brings joy to me to see how everything that I have, it came from me seeing myself with it before I had it. I remember I used to always talk to my buddy Chandler and also my other buddy Tellis. And this was last year. 
And this is when I was in my uh, 2000 E250, my old van, you guys might remember that I had. And every time we would be on the phone and I would see a pro master, I used to always say it, they go my van, they go my van, there's my pro master, there's my van, there's my pro master. I said it so much, they got tired of me hearing it. Uh, they got tired of me saying, they got tired of hearing it. They would say, man, I can't wait till you get that damn van. Because I would just say it so much. And guys, guess what? I got a Pro Master. When I got my first truck mount, and guys, even when it seemed impossible, even when it seemed like I wasn't going to get the truck mount, deep down in my spirit, I knew I was going to get that truck mount. Why? Because I kept seeing it. Back then, I used to shop at John Dunn a lot. And every time I would go into John Dunn, I would just look at that truck mount. I would just look at it, guys. I would admire that truck mount. I would see myself with that truck mount. And even when it, sometimes it almost seemed like it was impossible that I was going to get the truck mount, just the thought of me having that truck mount, I couldn't lose that thought. Not only did I think about it all the time, I even started dreaming about it. I was dreaming and seeing myself with this truck mount. So even when my bank account told me I could not own this truck mount, my thoughts would not let me stop seeing myself with it. So what I'm saying is that this, this message might not mean a lot to some of you. A lot of you might not get it. But what I'm trying to tell you, whatever you see yourself in or with, you have to see yourself with it before you own it. So whatever tools you want, whatever van you want, whatever truck mount you want, even a customer, if it's a certain kind of customer you want to work for, think about it, guys. Think about it so much, that's all you think about. You can't stop thinking about it. You can't lose that thought even if you try. So what I'm saying is that the way my business has transitioned and just really did a whole 360 turn twice, 720, is because everything that I'm doing now in my business and it's going the way I want is how I was thinking about it. The truck, the truck mount, the tools, uh, cleaners connect, uh, the, the guys that I talk to every, I mean, even the guys that I talk to, these are the kind of guys that I always wanted in my small circle. These are the guys that I always wanted to have where I can talk to them about what we do every day. And even sometimes when I had those guys that I thought were those guys that would come along and the next thing you know, they would do something or I would sense some jealousy or some envy and we would, you know, part ways. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, these, these aren't the guys that I see myself hanging around. These aren't the guys that I see myself networking with. These aren't the guys I see myself growing with in this industry. But even when I had those guys that not that were not those guys, eventually those guys showed up. Now I have those guys in my small circle because I used to see myself with those guys before those guys even showed up in the presence. So what I'm saying is that in order to get the tools that you want, in order to have the business that you want, in order to work for a certain kind of customer you want to work for, you have to see yourself with it first. And like I said, guys, if you see, if you want a certain tool, if you want a certain, if you want a new van, if you want a new system, if you want to work for another different customer see yourself doing it even if you have to go down like i said to your local supplier every day and look at it 
like I told you guys, I, I wanted Pro Map, and every time I seen that Pro Master, I used to say it all the time. Every time I seen it, there's my van. There's my van. There's my van. And my and, and Chandler and Teller, they will tell you. He used to say it all the time. Everything, guys. Even my personal car. I've been wanting that car for years. Years. And finally, I got that car. It's right there outside in my garage. Me and my wife just came from dinner in it. But every time I would see that car, I would tell myself, there's my car. There's my car. Even when I, did, when I knew I couldn't afford that car. But guess what, guys? In my mind, it was still my car. So that's why... Everything in my life is going the way it's going because of how I think about it. See yourself in your dream uh, rig. See yourself in your, with your dream truck mount. See yourself working for your ideal customer. See yourself making a certain amount of money every year. See yourself with it even when you don't have it because you have to see yourself with it first and to have it. So if you want to make so much money a year, if you want to have a certain tool, if you want to have uh, a certain uh, business model, if you want to work for a certain type of customer, a new van, new equipment, see yourself with it first. When you guys say, oh, I can't afford that. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get a new van. Guys, you're talking against yourself. You're talking against what you really want. So when you talk against it, guess what, guys? You're pushing it away. You're pushing that out of your world. You're pushing the, 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 the truck mount away. You're pushing the new van away. When you tell yourself, uh, well, I mean, I'll just stick with what I have. Well, uh, I don't have the money for it, so I just keep riding this old van. And guess what, guys? That's why you see a lot of guys still riding old vans because they don't see themselves in something better. So don't get caught up in that, you know, just good enough because, guys, we deserve more than just good enough. That's why I'm always reaching for the stars in my life, in my world. No matter what I have today, I always remember Tomorrow can change, but it changes with the way you think. So I don't want this people to think this is clickbait because they see the middle. I'm telling you the truth. If you want certain tools, if you want, uh, uh, like I said, a new van, a new new equipment, whatever you want, starts it starts by thinking by by the way you think about it. And if you have to go to your every day and look at that van if you have to go to your local supplier and look at that truck mount every day that's what you have to do you have to see it so much to the point you can't stop thinking about it that's how it worked for me i seen it so much guys my first truck mount even when i didn't have the money for it even when the, the guy told me I was going to need all this money to put down. And I'm thinking to myself, where am I going to get, get all this money from? I don't even have this money. I mean, I had like a support of it. And I needed that to time, you know, at the time to still keep food on the table. So I'm like, where am I going to get this $5,000 from to put down on this new truck mount? But guess what, guys? I kept thinking about it. I, I was dreaming about it. And... Magic happened. I reached out to Halfway Capital. I poured my heart. I told the lady my story. I told her how I felt. I told her what I needed to take my business to the next level. And when one person told me I needed $5,000 to put down, another person told me I only needed $500. And that's how I got my first truck mount. Because that's the way the universe works, guys. So I kept telling myself, I kept 
thinking. I kept seeing it, dreaming it. I mean, guys, like I said, it's almost to the point like it's it's, it's, it's like it's it's magic. It's, it really is magic. I mean, it just might be another word that we use, but it's really magic when you can see yourself with something, when you can dream about something and you dream about it so much. And one day you wake up and there it is. It's right there. And you say, wow, it worked. I wanted it so bad. Doors open for me. And guys, don't question. Don't ask why the door is open. Just be happy that that door did open. That that opportunity did open for you. I don't question myself why she accepted my application. I don't question myself why she told me only $500 down. Because guys, I don't have to question it. Because it was for me. And the way my thoughts align with what I wanted, it made it happen. It don't matter how it happens. You shouldn't care how it happens. You just should be grateful that it did happen. And when it does happen, guys, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful moment. That's all I can say. It's a beautiful moment. Because your universe, the universe will also use people to, to, to give you things that you want. Just like my house. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I put down so much money on this house. I almost went crazy. Because I didn't want to put this much money down on this house. But my wife, she wanted this house so bad. She used to dream about it. She used to come drive past this house and look at this house. And she said, that's my house. That's my house. I want that house for me and my family. And even when I was thinking against it, her, her thoughts would not let her lose it. So, guess what, guys? The universe used me to fulfill what she wanted. That's what it does. Even when I didn't want it, she still wanted it, and the universe worked in her favor. Even though I wrote the check. And, I, and trust me, guys, I was pissed. I was pissed. My good buddy will tell you that. But, hey, man. Uh, whatever. Don't watch. So, anyway, guys, um, even when she wanted this house, it happened because of the way she was thinking. So, you know, like I said, a lot of people are not going to understand this. A lot of people are... Um, a lot of people ain't going to get it, but for the ones that truly understand it, the ones that truly get it, guys, see yourself with it. Because like I said, even when you don't have it, the universe will use other people to fulfill your wants and your needs. That's why I'm so grateful that I can work for the kind of customer I can work for. It just feels so good to work for good people. People who appreciate you. I mean, you guys see the videos. I, I, I rarely clean dirty carpets. People who give me tips. Uh, people who, you know, somebody she wants. Yeah, somebody just being ignorant. Some, you know, again, sometimes you have people who just make comments just to be ignorant. Some whoever lizard lick towing. Um, anyway, so. Um, you know, but just just want it, see it, and let it happen. Don't don't worry about how it's going to happen, who is going to make it happen, alone as it happens. So, uh, guys, that's it. Um, this Friday, I am going to be at Mikey's Fest doing some charity cleaning. And enjoying myself, um, networking and seeing other uh, cleaners from around the nation. Um, Going to be a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of good guys there. And um, just networking. We're going to have fun. It's going to also be on the weekend, Friday and Saturday. So you guys will be seeing some videos. 
I'm also going to drive my van down there. So we're going to use one of my vans to be used to do some of the charity work for the Ronald McDonald House. So I'm very excited about that. So like I said, I got the Cleaners Connect t-shirts. Uh, this is just a fresh new beginning for Cleaners Connect. Um, so we got a whole bunch of shirts that we're going to be uh, giving away for all the members that will be there. And uh, for the ones that won't be there, um, one of the admins will get some more shirts made. And also, um, you can order one and he'll send it to you. So, uh, what do you look? Oh, just like this, guys. Cleaners Connect shirts. Just got the logo on it. Nice cotton shirt. So, I like the way it came out. It feels real nice and smooth. Don't feel like that vinyl that folds. So, so it's, it's, it's a real nice fit shirt. Um, I don't know. I got to get with my uh, the other admin, Chad, to see how much they'll be. I think it would be about 30, 35 bucks a shirt plus shipping. Um, or maybe he said, I don't know. He might do free shipping. But again, um, um, but again, it's a nice shirt. I'm the guy that did my wrap. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end up blocking this dude from my page. He's kind of ignorant. Um, but again, the guy who did my wrap, the guy who do my, some of my graphics, he's the one that printed the shirts. And then also, um, Kim Massengill is the one that did the design. So, but yeah, guys, you know, when you get certain people that, you know, you call trolls, haters or whatever, you know, you can't pay attention to those, um, uh, um, uh, people, you know, and again, you know, Hey, people have their own opinion. Um, and, uh, other than that, you know, life goes on and you just keep doing you and let, and, and, and let them do them. And that's it guys. So I really like this shirt. I really like the way it feels. And I think we're gonna, um, the members are gonna like them. So very excited guys, very excited. So, all right, guys, so I'm about to hit um, the bed. We got four gigs tomorrow. I got my buddy Kevin riding with me tomorrow uh, to help uh, help me on these jobs. So I also want to get my van cleaned up and cleaned out for Mikey's Fest. So just spray it out, clean the van, wash it. That's the only thing about having a high-top van is I have to clean it myself. I don't have any of those special um, car washes around here. So I, I can't take it through the car wash because it's too high. Um, so I have to just take it to the car wash up the street. It takes about five bucks to wash it. So even with a wrap, it's pretty cool because the dirt falls off pretty easy compared to being uh, bonded to the, uh, the, the the paint. So it's really easy. So, uh... oh yeah, that's true, Gusto. When you help other people, man, it's also going to help you and help your life. So, um... Um, just, just stay blessed, man, and keep your head up. Like I said, you know, you're going to have, uh, haters and, you know, just people who, who are just ignorant for no reason. And, um, and, you know, but again, you can't pay those people no attention because for whatever reason, um, they're usually miserable, um, uh, in their own world. So what they do, they try to pull you down with them, you know, so you have to always remember when people see you elevated, people see you going up and when they don't see themselves going up, they'll try to grab a hold of you and pull you back down with them. Um, but as long as you stay focused, you know, you keep your eyes, um, pointed up. Um, other than that, guys, the rest, the rest is history. So, all right, guys, that's it. Um, and uh, go ahead and when I get off of here, I'm going to uh, uh, block a few people from my page. All right, guys. See you.